What good, Trapper? This is your boy, The Wall Street Trapper. We report live from the trap. That's right, live from the trap, man. You already know the goal is to help the culture build wealth one share at a time. Right now, yeah, we're going to trap with one of the biggest. Matter of fact, let me say that again. We're going to trap with the biggest do-it-yourself home improvement center in the world. That's right, the Big Orange Home Depot. Right now, Home Depot has currently 2,000 stores worldwide. Let's say that again, 2,000 stores worldwide. They have about 1,800 stores in the U.S. alone. They big old trap, man. They serve everybody, not just the regular homeowners, right, but they also serve like your independent real estate contracts. They also serve huge businesses. They also serve corporations around the world. You can get anything from lawn care to cabinets to refrigerators, washing and dryers, they serve it all. That means they're selling everything. That means the trap is jumping. They are the plug, right? So right now, Home Depot actually has served to the date a half a billion customers already around the world. Let me say that again. To the date, Home Depot has had a half a billion transactions. That's a whole lot of hand to hand. I want to know what they got in them packs. You know what I'm saying? To make that trap jump like that because their competitors as Home Depot has increased their competitor, lows have decreased by 20 million sales. That means they taking their customers and bringing them over, right? They have this huge moat called brand name. When you think about do it yourself, when you think about getting something done, first thing you say is, yo, I need to go to Home Depot. So they definitely putting themselves in position to be a huge win in the game. Home Depot, man, we're gonna break that brick all the way down, you hear me? So when you wanna talk about integrity and a great business model and brand, Home Depot has been ranked in the top 21 most admirable businesses in the world. Now, if you think about all the businesses around the world, for them to be ranked in the top 21, that is amazing. That says a lot about management. Now, Home Depot, uh, the CEO just left. They got a new CEO in, right? Um, so we're gonna look at that, see how amazing they do with this job. Right, so over the last five years, Home Depot has grown its earning by 12% per year. That's great. Now, you know they don't have a lot of growth what they can do, right? You know what I mean? You're not gonna wake up today and say Home Depot has just changed the way everybody does business. But when it comes to home improvement, they are the go-to brand, so we can't do nothing about that. We appreciate that. Secondly, they have, they are expected to grow their earnings by 6% a year moving forward. That's a great eye catcher too, right? They have a great dividend at 2.27%, almost a dollar and eight cent a share per year, right? I mean, per share per quarter. That ain't bad. I'm not mad at that at all. Debt is covered, right? So they don't have a lot of debt. That mean they're big trapping, man. So listen, Home Depot, live in full effect. Hugest leader in do it yourself. When I say Home Depot, I'm talking about a blue chip company. I'm talking about a big old trap house. This your boy, the Wall Street Trap. Y'all know my goal is to help the culture build well one share at a time. Trap with me. What's good, Trappers? This your boy, the Wall Street Trap. Y'all know my goal is to help the culture build well one share at a time. We back, man, live from the trap. You already know. The purpose of this segment is to just get up close and personal in front of some of these same businesses that we invest in every day. So my goal is to make it clear so we can understand not only what we invest in them, but how they operate. Let's get behind the numbers. Like I always say, let's break the breakdown to all dimes. Track with me. So today we're gonna talk about a company that I personally own and love, Starbucks, right? So right now, Starbucks is the largest coffee chain in the world. That's right, that's a big, big trap house, right? So as of right now, they're in 79 countries. That's right, 79 countries worldwide, right? With about 32,000 stores worldwide, 32,000 stores, which was a huge increase from 2018, where they only had 29,000 stores. So that shows us that management has been on growth and we love growth. As of right now, they actually have about 650 customers per day each store. That's a lot of hand-in-hand -hand transactions, right? That's jumping like the first and the 15th in the trap. You already know how I get down, right? But management also said they want to increase that number to about 800 customers a day. 
some real blue magic they got going on right there. You feel what I'm saying? So look, Starbucks right now, um, they do have a little more debt than I like, but earnings are expected to grow by 38% over the next five years. 38%. Man, that's good, man. Uh, also, the dividend is about one point some percent. It's cool. I think they got enough room to grow it. But look, that's Starbucks in a nutshell, man. Trap with me, man. Big trap, man. Live from the trap, holler at your boy, man. So one of the most important things that we really have to pay attention to is their profit margin. Listen, profit margin has decreased by about 13%. I don't know how I feel about that, but we're gonna see what they do when it comes to growing those 800 customers a day, which is like another 150 customers a day. We also want to make sure uh, we want they don't they have more debt than I really like, right? But it is covered by operational cash flow, which is the cash flow that's coming into the business, which means they can pay their debt off, and that's okay with me, right? Revenue is up to about 24 billion. We not mad at that because that means they got people coming in. So if we can get more revenue coming in, which is what they plan on doing, we can serve more customers, which we can plan on doing. We can knock off the debt, right? We can increase the dividend and we can make everybody happy. Everybody eats, B. Everybody eats. It's the nature of the game. All right, so they have a market cap of about $120 billion. And we know what market cap is, right? Outstanding shares times stock price gives us the market cap. So if they can get the store to about 800 customers a day, if they can grow their stores uh, to about 80 to 90 countries around the world, we know that revenues will increase, the market cap will go up. But listen, anytime you got the name as the largest coffee house in the world, you can't lose, man. So it's your boy, The Wall Street Travel. We breaking this Starbucks down, breaking that brick down to all dimes. Man, we pulling live from the trap, man. Trap with me. Listen, <laughs> I know we covering a whole lot right now, but that's the purpose of live from the trap. Listen, if you want to get really into this, you want to really learn how to invest in these stocks, how to research these companies, listen, join Travelers Anonymous. Click the link below, look for Travelers Anonymous. Listen, we giving you a uh, financial expert coming in once a month. We doing live book clubs, we doing live classes once a week so you can break down these stocks the Wall Street Travel with. It's called Live in the Kitchen every week. So listen, do me a favor, man. Click the link, join us in Trappers Anonymous, over 3,000 members in the group, man. Come trap with me. What's good, Trappers? It's your boy, The Wall Street Trapper. And y'all know my goal is to help the culture build wealth one share at a time. And right now, we're reporting live from the trap. <laughs> you already know. Right now, we're gonna talk about somebody that get the girl right. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna talk about Smile Direct, right? So it's a new company, they new on the scene. They fresh off the porch. You know what I'm saying? Their biggest competitor is a company that I love, Align Technology. But listen, y'all know I can't be biased. You know what I'm saying? So I gotta give y'all the game, how the game's supposed to be given. So Smile Direct is a great business, right? Up and coming. They right now have 390 locations worldwide. They have 250 orthodontists that they are doing business with. One of the things that they did, they measured up the competition. So they saw in the beginning, they couldn't really compete with Align Technology. So what they did was they went direct to consumer, right? So they went and created their own office where they sell retainers, mouthpieces, uh, teeth whitening gels, all type of things for your mouth, right? So instead of going through just dentists, what they did was they went direct to consumer. They went straight to like, hey, you know, I got that work, holla at me, you feel me? So, um, one of the things I do love about them is they also uh, join forces with Blue Cross Blue Shield and with an insurance company to help cover some of those things because those aligners and those retainers aren't really cheap, right? But also what they did was they connected with CBS too. So they connected with another type of plug, right? So they've been just making a lot of movements and I like that for a new business, they're growing, they have great, uh, earnings that are growing by I think 89%. So they've been doing a lot of great things, but you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna peel the onion back, right? We're gonna break the brick down all the time. We're gonna put the rays and make sure it hit the plate. You hit a little beep. You know that little sound? Some of y'all might not know that sound, but I know the goddamn little sound, right? My real trappers know what that sound is, right? So we're gonna go behind the numbers. We're gonna break this brick all the way down. You feel me? So listen, man. So as we peel the numbers back, what we do notice is that revenue has grown by 22%. Now that's good because that means they're getting the word out, they're getting to people. Right, so revenue has grown by 22%. There is no dividend, but we can't be mad at that because we know they're a new business, right? We can't expect them to pay us a dividend and grow the business at the same time. You gotta pick one or the other. So I like the fact that they are spreading, right? But also, you know, there is no dividend, that's cool. But 
I think what it is, I went into a Walmart not long ago and I saw that they had one inside of a Walmart. So that let me know that they spread, right? And that's what we wanna see with businesses like this. We wanna make sure they are continuously growing the brand. We wanna make sure they're continuously putting this up in prime location like some of the other businesses that we talk about. Location is key. And also just spreading out to other people like the insurance company, like your Walgreens, like your CVSs. And also they have their own stores that they have located but they're also getting into those orthodontist um, offices as well. So they're finding ways to um, really be competitive in this field. So I think, you know, they fresh off the porch, but they, they'll be competitive, man. So look, man, it's your boy, the Wall Street Trapper, and we reporting live from the trap, you know what I'm saying? Helping the culture build well one shed at a time, man. Try with me.